Should you be watching movies in VR in a virtual cinema? Heck yes, you should. It's an amazing experience, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get it set up and the options you have to actually make it happen. Before we jump into the bulk of the video and my favorite way to watch movies in VR, I'm gonna mention that there are some streaming service native apps like Amazon Prime, Netflix, there's a Showtime app, and there's also a Vudu app. Some of these applications are okay. The Netflix app is terrible in my opinion. The stream streams at a super low resolution, and it just does not look good good. Amazon Prime doesn't have the best reviews on the Quest Store for whatever reason, but I personally think that it looks really good and it's always worked really well for me whenever I've used it. And Vudu is pretty terrible too, unfortunately. If you're going to stream movies, I'm gonna show you the best ways to do it right now. There is a paid option that is a video player, a couple of different ones. If you wanna play files native on your Quest or streaming from a media server that you have set up. But in all honesty, now with some of the biggest updates to a platform called Big Screen VR, that is my preferred way to stream any video content on the Quest 2. I'm gonna show you how to get it set up, what kind of options it has, and exactly why it's so amazing. First up, what is Big Screen VR? Well, Big Screen VR is a virtual cinema in the best sense of the word. Not only do you have options to actually watch movies, but you can also rent movies in a virtual movie theater. You can hang out with friends and watch those movies if you'd like. There's free television channel rooms, free movies to watch. There's always public rooms with people watching movies that you can jump into or even TV shows or playing games that you can hang out with. There's a lot going on in this game, including avatar creation. You can stream your media server from your PC to the Quest 2 in big screen VR and it works seamlessly. You can add local files to your Quest 2 and watch them on a massive cinema screen. You can even use it for a remote desktop if you'd like and watch streaming services through the remote desktop in a browser inside of a cinema or in whatever room they have available depending on how you want to watch those shows. Big Screen VR actually just got a recent update that made it even better allowing for way better streaming. That update added dedicated servers which means that when you jump into a room in Big Screen VR right now it's not going to be all blocky, laggy, audio desynced, all this stuff that it used to have. In December, the update was released with dedicated servers, meaning that the streaming video quality is going to be through the roof now and way better. And from my experience jumping in, that is definitely the case. Because the Quest 2 has such a high resolution, it actually looks really good when watching videos in VR. And watching in a virtual cinema, there are several you can choose from, by the way, whether you wanna go to a drive-in or you wanna go to a space cinema or a classic retro cinema, you can even watch them on a screen in a fancy apartment. There are several places to go, but it looks fantastic, very sharp, very crisp. My favorite part about watching them in a cinema in big screen is the color cast from the actual screen. So you're watching something and if there's an explosion, you actually see the colors in the room affected by the colors on the screen like you would in real life. It makes it feel a lot more immersive, so it's not just a screen you're looking at. Sounds like it's simple, but it works really well. Plus the fact, if you've never watched a 3D movie in virtual reality, it is a wonder to behold. Watching a 3D movie in real life, you don't get a lot of that depth. When you watch it in VR, you get full 3D depth and it is pretty mind blowing. One thing I need to mention that I have yet to mention yet is that big screen VR is totally free. Aside from the fee that you'd pay if you want to rent a movie, movie. Big screen does not cost a penny. It allows you to jump in with friends and it doesn't cost either of you a dime. All right, we're going to jump into big screen here for just a few minutes. I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you where the menu settings are, how you can change rooms and all of the good stuff that happens in big screen VR. Let's jump in and check it out right now. All right, when you first log into big screen, this is where you're going to go, your own home room. This is where you start off. There's actually TV channel rooms you could jump to, whether you want to watch Hell's Kitchen, Doctor Who, whatever you want to watch. And look, there's 27 people in the Rick and Morty room already. There's rooms you can go to. You can hang out with people if you want. There's also uh, movie rentals. And now there's a lot more than what you're seeing right here. You get unlimited watching for 48 hours. It's available in these countries. You can hit watch a trailer. You can rent it. It's $4.99 to rent. If you go to the social tab, you can see all the public rooms. The public rooms are free rooms you just jump into. So these are talking about movies. There's 4K San Andreas in 3D, Percy Jackson 3D. There's also, like I said, TV rooms. There's a ton of TV rooms. They have different categories. 24-7 movies by Pluto TV, Wild World, World of Adult Swim. You could, you could click on something like Samurai Jack, which is pretty awesome. If you click on that, 
intended for over 18. You're gonna hit over 18 and it's gonna join the channel. This is obviously Samurai Jack playing here right now. Uh, there's nobody else in this room right now. It is a public room though, so anyone can join at any time. You can actually explore these rooms too by uh, using the joystick. You can go and stand in different spots and hang out and talk to people while you're watching this if you want. Now, if you wanna watch a movie, there's a couple different options. Let's tap on one of these and see what this is playing for movies. Pluto TV Spotlight, yes. This is one of the movie theaters. There's several of them. This is, there's a fistful of dollars. Is that what this one is? With Clint Eastwood? Um, but this is what it looks like being in a virtual cinema. You can see the effects of the video on the sides as it's blue. You can see the effect over there as the scene changes. You can see how it changes the color cast. Movie rentals, and you can watch movies by renting them. They've got a whole bunch of ones, or you can watch free ones, so you can click a free movie. And what you can do is you can actually rent these and watch these with friends. The way to do that is you actually have to both rent the movie. So you'd both have to pay, what is it? $4.99, $3.99 for this one, and then you could watch it together. If you have a DLNA media server set up, we're gonna hit that. I've got my media server set up. You can go to videos, big screen right here. You're gonna just do all, and you got, I've got just this in here right now, just the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home. You could do that. Let me just change the environment. And these are the environments here. This is what I wanted to show you. So you got drive-in cinema, retro cinema, modern, grand, the woods, home theater, sci-fi. They're different categories. This is like nighttime. You can go to different places. My favorite one by far is the grand cinema. See the colors changing on the walls? Look at that. That's so cool. The quality is pretty insane. This is the streaming one. Let me just switch it from this. This is streaming for my PC. There's no latency. There's no audio desync, it works really, really well. Now let's change it to watch, we're gonna do video player. I have this on my device too. If you have something loaded on your device, you can actually connect it to your PC. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. And just load stuff onto your PC, but you can do local files and I have the same one on here and see it's gonna be about the same quality. This is loaded natively on it, which is cool because you can actually watch stuff offline. So if you load video files on this and you're traveling and you don't have internet, whether you're on an airplane, and you don't want to pay the outrageous fee for good internet <laughs> or whatever you want to do, you can actually watch full movies. And if you don't like the movie, you can throw a tomato at the screen <laughs> or you can eat some popcorn and you can get a drink. And you can actually, there's settings if you go to a public room to turn that stuff off so it's not as annoying. You can sit here in your, in your car and watch stuff, <laughs> which is pretty, pretty awesome. You can actually move to different spots too, if you want to. You could uh, have a, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife that you're not with currently and they can sit right in the seat here next to you and you can watch stuff on a virtual giant screen at the drive-in. And if you want to host a room, all you got to do is hit host my room. You could do it to private, hit save. So that's a private room. Now we're successfully changed this to a private room and you can invite people, show room ID. And what you can do is you give this to your friend and then they type that ID in. And when they type it in, which they're going to do in this social channel, you type the ID in here, it'll join the room and you can hang out with your friends. Now to put video files on your Quest, all you're gonna do is plug your Quest into your computer, make sure you place the Quest on your head and you hit yes or enable or whatever the pop-up says to allow it to access files on the PC. Then you're gonna wanna open up the Quest folder on your PC, navigate down into the video file and then drop whatever video files you wanna watch in there and that's it. Alternatively, you can set up a media streaming server and do that as well and that works just as fine too. Well, there you go. I hope that answers your question about whether you should be watching movies in a virtual cinema on the Quest 2 in virtual reality. In my opinion, it is a crazy cool way to watch a movie. One complaint I do hear is the lack of battery for the Quest 2. One thing you can do to offset that is either plug it in while you watch, if you're just gonna be sitting there anyways, or get a battery pack or something like the Elite battery strap because that'll extend your battery well long enough to watch a movie or maybe binge some episodes of a television show. For me, this is the ultimate home theater experience. It might not be as good as some of the top tier TVs or projection systems out there, or especially as good as some of the really high quality audio systems, but this is an amazing immersive way to have your own cinema at home without spending any additional money aside from owning a Quest 2. What do you think though? Is this the ultimate home cinema? Let me know down in the comments if you watch movies in VR, and if you haven't, what are you waiting for? If you wanna get the most out of your quest and your quest too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. And you can check out more of my videos right over there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and happy questing.